Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to my last Premier League predictions of the 2019-2020 season. Who would have thought we got to this point? Still a lot to be decided, Three, uh, two relegation spots to still be decided, P top four spots still to be decided considering Liverpool won against Chelsea. And, you know, it's still a lot in the air for the last ever week of the 2019-2020 Premier League season. Who do you think will get the top four spot? Who do you think will take the two remaining relegation spots? And um, basically, you know, tell me all your opinions down below. Include the predictions to the last week of the Premier League games. But anyway, without any further ado, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Give us a little big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to try and predict is Arsenal vs Watford. One of the first big games in a relegation battle. Because Villa beat Arsenal, Watford are now in that drop zone. Arsenal, just a really ordinary game for them, really. Uh, but I still think Arsenal will go and win this one. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Burnley versus Brighton. As a Brighton fan, which I am, I'm so over the moon. We've got a point against Newcastle to keep us massively safe in the Premier League for another season. Burnley, yeah, just really another ordinary game. I'm going for a very dull, very boring 0-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Chelsea versus Wolves. Chelsea need to pick up a point against Wolves to get into the top four. Wolves obviously can't get into the top four, but they are still looking for the Europa League. Obviously, the band with Manny City no longer exists, so it is actually a top four. Going up against a very good Wolves side, I watch Wolves a lot this season. They've really have um, overstepped my expectations, and you'll see my Premier League uh, table re reveal within the next week. So you know, after all these games are done, but far as this game goes, I'm going to go for another draw, and I'm going to go for a one-one scoreline for that one. My next one is Crystal Palace versus Tottenham. Now Tottenham are one of these teams that really do, you know, have a good game and then have a bad game. Palace ain't got nothing to really play for. I'm going to go for a Spurs win and I'm going to go for a 2-0 Spurs win. My next one is Everton versus Bournemouth. A big game for Bournemouth. It all goes how it goes with at London Stadium against West Ham though. Bournemouth, I think they go down with Watford. I think that's, that's my opinion, as I said, put yours down below. I think Everton's going to win this one quite easily, and I'll go for a 3-0 Everton win. My next one is Leicester versus Man United. A top four clash. Now, for this game, for Leicester to get into the top four, I need to beat United. For United to get into the top four, they just need a point. I think Leicester are going to do it. I really do. I think Man United just might miss out on the top four spot. And I'm going to go for a 1-0 Leicester win. My next one is Man City versus Norwich. Really no uh, significance to this game. Man City hang on off to play for Norwich. Norwich. I'm going to go for a Man City win and I'm going to go for a 5 0 Manchester City win. My next one is Newcastle versus Liverpool. Yet again, no real, nothing to really play for in this game. Um, but, you know, Newcastle, Liverpool, eh, it could be quite a good game. I think Liverpool are just going to edge it though by three goals to one. My next one is Southampton, Sheffield United. 
both teams have had a formidable season. If you think way back to where Southampton started the league and you know what that manager's done. I remember quite early on in the season that, you know, a lot of Southampton fans wanted their manager sacked. They stuck by him and look what he's done for the club. Sheffield United have had a great season, um, first first season back in the Premier League. I think it's going to be a draw. I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My last one is West Ham versus Aston Villa. Now, as I said, this can have a really big effect on the Bournemouth and Watford game. Things have got to go seriously wrong for Villa, though, for, for, the, uh, for them to get relegated now. But I'm going to go for a Villa win, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Villa win. Anyway, guys, as I said in this video, my Premier League prediction table reveal where we go all over the table that I predicted way back in August will be up uh, soon after all these games are played, so probably sometime next week. But until then, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. And ciao for now.